Hey guys, I'm Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a workout that focuses on the inner thighs and the outer hips. It's a no equipment workout so you don't need anything except maybe a mat if you want to lay on the floor. If you have any suggestions on workouts that you would like to see in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button below. Alright, we will get started. So the first exercise we're going to do is sumo squats. So you're going to get into a wide stance. Have your toes pointing out a little bit, and you're going to sit down and up this way. So we're going to do 15 of these. Make sure you're moving at a little bit of a slower pace since we're not using weight. So maybe like one, two down, one, two up, okay? Make sure that your knees are in good alignment, that they're not caving forward, okay? So you're pulling the knees out back this way and down and up. Sitting down, knees pulling back, and up. Use the inner thighs, so as you come up, feel the inner thighs working to pull you back up, okay? This is an inner thigh focused exercise. But when we're squatting, it's really total legs, so you're gonna, you might feel the glutes as well. Okay, once you get to your feet, 15, heel toe your feet back in. Moving into an outer hip focused exercise, we're going to do curtsy lunges. So they look like this. So your left foot is in front, your right foot steps back a little bit to the left, and then you come back up. Stepping back with the left foot a little bit to the right, and then back up. Keep going with that. We're going to do 10 on each side. Make sure that your knee stays in line with the foot so that your knee isn't tracking out this way. You're still trying to keep it in line with your ankle here. Okay, and back up. Down, use your outer hip to pull you back up. Lunging down, back up. Lunging down, back up. So it just changes it from a traditional lunge. It adds in a little bit of extra outer hip work. We're getting a little out of breath. It also smells really cinnamony in here. I bought the, like Trader Joe's has like a broom where they like put like cinnamon in it. So I brought it home and then I took it out of the plastic because I thought you were supposed to do that, but apparently you're supposed to leave it in the plastic. So it smells like really strong in here. I might have to like put it in the closet for a little bit or something. Okay, I'm talking so I'm losing count. All right, so once you complete your 10 on each side, then we're gonna lay down on the floor. So you can either grab a mat or if you have a carpet, that's fine as well. Okay, so we're gonna lay on our sides for clamshells. We're gonna do elevated clamshells. So you're gonna be on your forearm, lifting on this leg. So your hips are lifted up, legs are together. The top leg lifts into that clamshell. If that feels like that's too much, you can lay down here and do clamshells this way, okay? So whatever variation you're choosing, we're gonna do 15, all right? So we'll start. I try my best to count while we're going, but it's hard to count and talk, so bear with me, guys. Some things to watch out for. Make sure that the hips aren't falling here, that you're staying lifted, so the obliques are working as well here. And then with this leg, make sure you're not lifting and like turning your body. So, especially if you're in a lower clamshell, sometimes people like rotate that way. It's just the leg lifting. So just the knee lifts up. Okay, so my hips are not moving. Okay, keep going. So you get to your 15. Squeeze the outer hip at the top. Okay, once you do your 15 on that side, go ahead and switch sides. Whichever variation you're choosing to do, lifting up and down, you can always engage the abs a little bit, and you're squeezing the outer hip at the top and down. So when you do the elevated clamshell, you're working both outer hips. So this outer hip is working to stabilize and hold you up. This outer hip is working to lift the leg. 
keep going, 15. Okay, when you finish your 15 on that side, we're gonna lay on our back and do another inner thigh exercise. Okay, so laying down, your legs are gonna go straight up toward the sky. Knees are straight. Hands down at your sides. You're gonna let your legs fall out to the side. You're gonna pull them back up and in and cross one leg in front. Let the legs fall out. Pull them back up and in, opposite leg crosses in front. So we're gonna do 20, so with 10 on each side, okay? So letting the legs fall out, crossing in front. When it's fall out, use the inner thighs to pull the legs back up and in. Crossing out, pull back up and in. Also, so this could also work your abs a little, so pulling the abs gently down and in toward the spine as you move the legs, especially as you lift up, so as you're out, Pull the abs down and in to lift the legs back up. Legs come out, pull the abs down and in to lift the legs back up. Make sure you're not holding your breath. I do have a video where I go over how to activate the deep abdominals, so I can link that below. My inner thighs are definitely sore and feeling it today. I did a kundalini practice yesterday like kundalini yoga and we did like 54 of these like frogger exercises where you're like i don't know you're like squatting down in a frog position having to stand up it was like literal torture but it's so good i love i love kundalini keep going okay once you hit your 20 or 10 on each side Go ahead and roll to your side. Okay, so either relaxing down here or propping your hand and relaxing your head, whatever is more comfortable for you. You're gonna keep your bottom leg bent, top leg is going to be straight. Flex the bottom foot, lift that leg up and down. Flex the bottom foot, flex the top foot, sorry. So when you're doing this exercise, we're working the outer hip, glute med. Make sure your toes are pointing forward. We're going for 15. If your toes start pointing up toward the sky this way, then you're not working your outer hip anymore, okay? Then you're starting to get into your quad. You really have to keep this turn of the hips so the toes are pointing forward so that your hips in this position to work the outer hip. Squeeze it at the top. You can even sometimes, if you put your hand there, feel that muscle activating. Sometimes then you get into that muscle a little more. Once you get to your 15, hold here. We're gonna do 10 circles in each direction. So let's start forward, 10 circles forward. Gently keep the abs pulled in and we're doing small circles. Ten forward and now ten backward. For the backward circles, feel the glute as you bring your leg back in like that back part of the circle. But again, it's small. Kind of helps work on hip stability. Awesome. Okay. So we're gonna to switch to the inner thigh. So relax your top leg in front and straighten out your bottom leg. You're gonna lift straight up from here and down. Lift straight up and down. So your inner thigh is lifting that leg up. We're gonna do 15 that way. Some modifications you can make or, or just ways to make this more comfortable. Keep going. If this is like not comfortable for you to relax the leg in front, you can put a pillow or something to lift that leg up higher. You can also put a pillow, like a thin pillow or like a towel, something under your bottom hip 
if your hip is like bothering you going to the floor. Like if you're on a carpet, you may be fine. Like I feel it a little bit on this hardwood floor, like I feel my hip pushing in. So you could always just put a push in there. Keep going. Once you hit your 15, again, hold out, and now we're gonna do circles this way. So let's do 10 forward. Really small circles. If we do them too big, then we start moving the pelvis too much. And now we're gonna do 10 backward. Awesome. Relax that leg down. And let's switch to your other side. Okay. So we're going to start with your bottom leg bent. Top leg is straight out. Toes pointing forward. Lift that leg up and down. Feel the outer hip working 15 times. exercise a lot of times is harder than it looks. Another thing to look out for is not to let the leg come out forward, that it stays straight back. If you come out forward, then you're working a different area of the muscle than we're trying to target. We're trying to target your glute meat, so you need the leg back in this position. After 15, hold here, 10 circles forward. And 10 circles back. On the backward circle, get a little bit more of that glute work. Feeling the glute squeeze as you bring that circle around. All right, awesome. Bring that leg in front, relax it down, straighten your bottom leg, and start to lift that bottom leg straight up and down 15 times. Keep the knee straight on the bottom. Don't let it start to bend and lift. your form is the most important thing. If you're ever feeling like you're losing your form, then just do less reps. Okay, 15, hold it up and let's do our circles. 10 forward, we're almost there. And reverse it, 10 back. Okay, relax down. Go ahead and sit up. So those are all the exercises we're going to do today. I would recommend, if this is going to be your workout for the day, to do this video two more times so that you're doing three sets of each of the exercises. If you are new to exercise, then maybe just do it one more time, or even if you just do it through this video, then that's perfectly fine, wherever you are at today. Once you've completed your workout, don't forget to do a cool down. If you want to do one with me, I will link a hip stretching video in the comments below. And that's all I have for you guys today. Again, please hit that subscribe button below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.